Okay, have you ever had a really long number that you don't want to have to keep re-entering into a calculator? You can use the memory function. So if you think you might want to use the memory function, make sure that you have cleared all the previous um, memories from your calculator. So you do this by pushing shift 9, then it tells you to push 3 because we want to clear all the memories. Then it tells you to push equals for yes, and then it tells you to press the all clear key. So now we're good to go. There's no memories in our calculator. Now let's say I've got an answer to a part of a question that I want to store in the memory. So I'm just going to put in a number, 1.004 to the power 26. That's a pretty long number and I don't want to have to write all that down. Okay, so I am just going to store that in the memory by storing M plus, pushing M plus, and then just clearing it. Okay, so that's now, you can see, there's a little M on the calculator, it's there. So now let's say I want to recall that memory, oh, and I want to multiply it by 7,000. So I can put in my 7,000, multiply, and then I can hit the recall button and the memory button, and it tells me that what's in the memory there is being multiplied by $7,000, by 7,000, and that gives me the answer.